Go. All right, guys, it's Adrian Unknown, and I'm flying my drone. It's way up there next to the moon. I'm not sure if you can see it right. I'm going to bring it down for you guys. You can probably hear it. But check it out. This is what it's seeing right now. directly above us you can see it coming down now There it is. This is my Mavic Platinum. See, it has obstacle avoidance right now, so even though I press forward, it knows that it's right here and it won't come and hit me. Crazy. See? Ooh. <clears throat> awesome. This one's a lot more agile than my Karma drone is. A lot more responsive, flies farther, all that fun stuff. a lot more expensive than the Karma is but I mean it's really 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 good the, the video plus it's just fun to fly really really easy to just fly around I'm not even looking at the controller I'm just watching the drone in the, the air Right now, it's in normal mode, okay? On the side of the controller is sport mode button. Press that shit, press okay, and look what happens to the drone now. I can literally fly 45 miles per hour on sport mode and do crazy turns like that. Cool. Fast little drone. Badass drone. Buy one of these if you can.
All right, to turn this one off, hold this button, press it once and hold it down. All right, fold these things in, disconnect your wire, undo the controller holder thingamabobber, fold it in like that, take out your USB. Over here on the drone, even after all that flying, you can still see that it's got three bars on this motherfucker. That is awesome lifespan for any kind of drone. Considering that it was in sport mode, going at 45 miles per hour and just doing all that crazy shit, yeah. To turn this off, hold this button, press it once and hold it down. There, the unit is off now. So now what you do is you grab this wing, fold it in like that, and tuck in the propeller like this, okay? Same thing with the other side. All right, with these two top wings, fold them in. Again, with the propellers, make sure that they're facing like this. Over here, we have a gimbal holder. This stabilizes the gimbal from moving around. As you can see, it's held up by some rubber mounts. It keeps it stable and, and um, still when it's flying through the air. So what you do with this is you slide this over the top like that and then you stabilize the camera itself. This thing is very expensive. It shoots in 4K, 1080p, all that good stuff. Without that, I mean, you don't get any films or anything like that. This is a gimbal protector. Some people can actually fly with this. So the idea is you take this off and then you put this on like this and it's supposed to keep things from hitting the, the camera or getting it dirty or whatever. But it's bullshit. If you fly with this and the sun hits it, it's gonna get so much glare and it's going to make you a horrible video. I highly do not recommend using that. So <laughs> just for comparison, this is my GoPro Karma drone. Okay. Look at the size of the, the case that I have to bring it out here. This is a camera case. Okay. Here's the Mavic that goes in there. The controller has some foam right here and then it has this thing, this little wire fits into here okay this controller's sticks are protected by this this fits perfectly in here here's an extra battery full that goes right there that is perfect 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 not only that but here in the spare pouch I've got another 30 minutes of flight time so long as you can fly and you have things to to see I mean yeah look drone in a bag as compared to drone on your back this thing weighs about 20 20 pounds this weighs like five pounds I could carry this all day and I wouldn't want to carry this very far granted the drone inside